What about this side? Any rats? I'm okay with eating rats. Yeah. Ugh, it's stuck. Anybody in this one? Hmm. I feel like maybe one of them might be openable, but so far it doesn't seem like it. Ugh, it's stuck. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Get back to the tower. So we know we're in a place where there are wells that try to seek out my traumatic memories to feed their energy deficiencies, I guess. Which is... I mean, I'd rather they not do that. That's all right. We activated whatever is happening here. And if I don't know the password, I can look at the pedestal on each floor. Pedestal. Again. Really? Is there nothing for me to look at? No, nope, no paths I go on to other places? Okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure how this worked earlier. Ah, the very, very bottom, that circle, we're trying to connect it. Okay, I'm finally seeing how they're selecting the circles. Finally! How do I connect the top part? Okay, forget about- yeah, let's do the last one here. That was pretty good. No, that doesn't work. We don't have to line up all the lines, we just gotta make sure that one line there is connected. Oh, we can't spin the inner circle. So we should have started from the inner circle then. That's a tough one. Wait, what? Hard to see what I'm trying to do sometimes. Wait. Let's try doing this one, maybe. You go up like that, and then... No, we're a little bit off. A little bit off. Hold on. Maybe the bigger one here? Yeah! Oh, oh, no, no! Oh, you're joking me. So close, yet so far. Yeah, moving the outer one also moves the inner one, which makes this part kind of difficult. Oh my god, that worked. Oh jeez, man, this one... This one took a while. The way they made it so that you can't change the wheels independently made it a lot harder than it had to be, I think. If you just let me change it, that'll actually be okay. Is this the pedestal? Something about passwords. Come on, there's more. Fourth level. Oh my god, okay, this looks so damn complicated already. Great, fantastic. Yeah, the circles around the bigger circle, like the little circles or the symbols, I'm actually not too sure what they are. Should I be paying attention to them? Maybe. Mm. 
Yeah, it just feels like the execution of this one could have been easier. Oh! Oh! I hope that's the last one. I know, right? Got lucky here. Is that real blood? Yeah, these kind of look like the symbols that were locking the doors, I guess. Hmm. Finally. Something is on the fourth floor, right? Oh. Is that the exit? I did it. Ready? Have we done everything already? No, I haven't found my lost memories yet. Not all of them, I guess. Maybe I missed something. Right here. It's always the same hallway. Eerily quiet this time, alright. Oh, hey, it's this door again. Oh, so every single time. Is this like a representation of my mind's palace or something like that? And we're trying to like, restore it. Ooh. This is the tower. Right? Silence! Let the prince speak! M.M. My dear M.M. I thought I had made myself clear. Me too. I told you there would be consequences. About? Destroying one of my closest advisors. What did you expect? Do what you gotta do. I see. M.M. Lewis. You are charged with the murder of Sir Pro Bono, Prince of Gloucester and Knight of my house. How do you plead? Guilty. She killed the guy that did the blood bond thing. Oh, when they were saying King, they meant literally Quentin King. Silence! How could you dare attack one of my knights? He had it coming. If that's your defense. Hilda! Come here. My prince. Hilda McAndrews. Were you aware that your child was conspiring to assassinate one of my generals? I... no. I was unaware of that. But I'm sure that she regrets her actions. What? No! This entire incident <laughs> has shaken her to the core. She wasn't herself. I know nothing can make up for what she did, but I assure you it won't happen again. You have my word. Your word. How nice. I'm sorry, but... I cannot allow such a brazen act of rebellion to go unpunished. But I have heard your plea. M.M.'s unlife will be spared. You're too kind. But you will pay for her error. No. Excuse me? Gentlemen, seize her. What? And brand No! Oh! <gasps> Hilda what the hell are you doing? Let her go! For the insubordination I of your I'm the child. one who destroyed him! I hereby sentence you to forever. Bear the mark of her crime. You can't! It was me! I remember my rage and my horror when they grabbed Hilda. He took everything from me. Even my revenge. Mm, so for some reason that that Sir Bono guy 
was messing with MM. Honestly, that scene earlier that we saw of them holding her down was pretty uncomfortable. Because it seemed, it frankly seemed like rape. Yeah. It was kind of funny earlier how oh, Hilda's like, oh, you know, she regrets her actions. And MM's like, no! <laughs> but, ugh, that's, that's probably a thing that would drive a wedge between them then. Because Hilda wasn't even the one who made the, who did that. But she got punished for it. Because I guess she's her sire and that's what you got to do. Maybe Quentin King was trying to drive a wedge between us on purpose. The traditions. The six traditions form the core framework for governance among the kindred. While they are interpreted in widely different ways and given various attention by individual princes and councils, they are ancient customs that no initiated Camarilla kindred is unaware of. Even if they were, ignorance is no excuse for breaking them. Where is the brand on Hilda? She seemed okay... Like, it wasn't on her face, at the minimum. That was kind of all sorts of horrid. Ugh. Not pleasant. What they did... How could I have forgotten that? The check mark hasn't come up yet, which makes me think I might have missed something. I feel like the library might be a good place to check because that place seemed like there should have been more, but I didn't find more. Maybe let's look around again. Sometimes the interaction dots are pretty small though, and you gotta go right up to it to see it. I feel like that was kind of the case with the council as well. Like we were, we had a collectible, the coin collectible. And they would be in the corners and next to the sofa and stuff like that. Really, really small. But I'm kind of worried about how hungry I am right now. Really hungry. Oh, look! Look at that! There's a... There's a pathway down there. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, but I'm- I'm too hungry to use it. Three. There's gotta be more rats around here, right? There's gotta be. I know we have the item to just not get hungry, but I want to look around a little bit more because, you know, it's better to not use items if we can. Although I feel like we also shouldn't be too stingy. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <coughs> Why? Uh, oh, uh, I can drink you. Uh, oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're just so useful. <coughs> Oh, this doesn't seem pleasant. Oh! At least back in the bar, we were doing it so pleasantly and it seemed kind of sensual and all that. Sorry. Controlled hunt. Talent. Controlled hunt. Yeah. Well, things are happening. Plus one additional hunger eliminated on a controlled hunt. Okay, cool. Well, that was exactly what we needed. I thought... <sighs> hmm. Okay. If I feed on him again, he's gonna die. Ugh, it's stuck. Can't really do anything about these people. Now we can do it. Little glowing dot. Do we need every single door to become something different? Like all these wooden doors are generic and they shouldn't be? 
Is that what's happening? Yeah, every single time we open a new door, it changes. This is the bed one. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what's happening. So we're still missing more than one then, if that's the case. Another bed? Give me the yellow money circle for this. Okay. I've been dreaming about this moment for six years. I never experienced anything so powerful. Ah, oh, the taste of your blood on my tongue. Your hands. Your teeth. It was... I could never forget it. Flower petals. Amnesia lost. Amnesia lost? But I still have lost memories. Yeah, the doors. We gotta fill them all, maybe. Well, that was a more pleasant memory. It's strong memories that trigger... The, the whole well thing, right? Mm, we had a nice time together. Our getting embraced was much more pleasant than the whole blood bond thing that the um, pro bono guy tried to um, force on me. What kind of a name is pro bono? God. Okay. There's gotta be more. In the library? This is such a strange layout too. It doesn't really encourage collaboration. Everyone's sitting on their own little couch doing their own thing. No. No. It doesn't really seem like there's much around here. Oh. Let's see what that did. Okay. But we... Oh, there's a lever. There's a lever there. I never noticed it. We already went in there, right? Why would we want to do that? Okay. I can't touch it. Oh. Wait, three levers, three gates? Is this some kind of puzzle? But I feel like we were able to access every single spot without any trouble, though. So what's the point of doing this? Um... Okay. Hey, I had to look this one up because I was really stuck here. And I think the last memory is inside this room. Because you see there's a little bit of a vapor thingy there, right? And I feel like this puzzle is really unintuitive. I don't think I'd ever have gotten it if I just didn't look for help. But essentially what happens is, right now, this is stuck. Ugh, it's stuck. And what you're supposed to do is use the levers that we just found in the library. For some reason, if the gate is down in this tunnel, then that 
door will mysteriously open. I don't think I ran into anything that says that's what it does. Like, maybe I missed something, but if they don't really say anything, then that really doesn't make any sense, right? How you're supposed to do it is because, okay, if you try to pull the lever right now... Like, there's no way we can make it back there in time, because this will have gone down already. So what you're supposed to do is use the potion that we picked up on the desk. Tremere Potion. MM feels faster and more agile than ever. So let's take it right now. Celerity. Fleetness. Is available when in a celerity state and near a situation that can be slowed down. Press the button to activate it. Slowing down a situation does not generate any hunger. Situation resumes normal speed when you move away from it or deactivate celerity. Right. Yeah, it's not timed, so we don't have to worry. And what you're supposed to do is... Okay, pull this back up. You can't even see how to activate this here. You gotta... Walk around here, I think? Right. So that's when the button comes up, actually. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. You can start it here as well. So you would activate... Uh, activate this. Touch the lever. And then run over here before the gate comes down. And we're okay being in here because that lever will help us open it back up again. But after we've done this, it'll mean that once we get to the end of this tunnel here, we'll be able to open the gate. Ugh, this place smells like death. Yeah, I think there might be a lot of puzzles here that just don't quite make sense, so I feel like I'm okay with looking up some stuff, especially if our goal says that we haven't completed it. I feel like that's pretty fair. Thank you. I've always been a rat eater. So this lets me go... Oh, it's like an all new... Okay. Wow, I didn't even notice this place because there was no way we could have seen this. Is it beyond... Uh, was that where the bed thing was? Maybe. Oh. Whoa. That's... Oh. This is my apartment. Right. Hopefully this is going to be the last one. I haven't checked the other doors. King won't listen to you. Why not? He's the prince of this fucking town, isn't he? He's a Malk. Do you seriously think you can trust him? So what am I supposed to do? Just close my eyes and forget it happened? She tried to warn me. I... I think you should drop the idea of talking to King about it. Then who will I tell? He's the only one who could do anything about it. I know. And I don't think you should tell anyone. What? Mem, listen to me. I know you want those psychos to pay for what they did to you. But don't confront King head on. Are you fucking kidding me? He's dangerous. Quentin has been weakened. If you humiliate him like that, he'll jump at the chance to make an example out of you. But I don't want to humiliate him. I want justice. They're his men, ma'am. If you accuse them, you'll be undermining his authority. Trust me. Don't tell anyone. How can you say something like that? After what they did to me? I'm trying to protect you. Fuck you! My love, please. Leave me alone! Don't touch me! I just want to protect you. You Stop are... Stop saying that! 
They had their way for three fucking nights and you want me to just keep it to myself? Yes! Yes, I want you to keep quiet about it. Stop rushing into things without thinking about them first! Can't you see that's what got you into this Shut mess? Up. Oh, whoa. I swear to God, shut up! Just shut the fuck up. I'm out of here. I never want to see you again. I left Boston that same night. Alone. Heartbroken. You were right about Kane. But I could see no other way. I'm so sorry. That's tough. That must be what led to their breakup then. I thought Amen might have punched the wall herself here, but no, she freaking threw Hilda. My god. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like, that's... Like, we were- we are supposed to take it as rape, basically. It was assault. And... Your partner, you come home, you tell your partner about it, and she's like, well, don't tell anybody, okay? That's pretty painful. I mean, I, I guess I can sort of see why Hilda would suggest that, because they really weren't in the position to really say too much. But still, it's painful. Sad situation for everybody. These visions, they seem so real. And yet I've forgotten them. What's wrong with me? Do I still have more? Oh my god! What else am I missing? Seriously? It's where we used to live. We left Boston, but I guess we eventually came back. Well, I don't think we can go over... There. Although it seems like we can, right? Oh, this is right above the um, other place. Right, below us is where the bed is. The other bed. Eh, well let me let me keep looking around. Oh, where am I? What what the hell? There was an intermediate stop there? Hold on, that might be something else then, because I thought... Didn't we come directly down from the one up top? Oh, never mind. Tremir Brooch. Secret Tremere rituals allow the warlocks to enchant inconspicuous items to enhance the wearer's abilities. Opponent focus reduced by 25%. In the dialogue, for three disciplines one, you eliminate three hunger. Wow. In the dialogue, each discipline one increases sus suspicion by one. Wait. Increases suspicion by one? Isn't that a bad thing? That's a bad thing. Why would you give me that? I wonder how long he's been there. Too damn long. I hope they don't damage him. If he can't hear me, I want to try. So? It's unbelievable. He's deep, I was him thinking as if he were conscious. Oh. Now it's my turn, Vance. I want to try. All right, hold your horses. Here you go. You weren't kidding. It's incredible. I know, right? Just wish it wasn't a one-way link. No matter how hard I try to communicate with him, he can't hear me. Anyway, enough messing around. I've got to prepare him for the next training session with the apprentices. Hmm. I hope they don't damage him. I'm not done studying him yet. Dude, they were just experimenting on people without regard for anything. Don't we have ethics? I know we're vampires, but we have standards. Some standards, don't we? Just looking like a no. We could have done the whole 
Oh, I guess the Tremere concoction thing wore off, right? I'm just wondering, because we could have done the whole gate thingy on the other side as well, but was there any other gate that could have opened on that side? If the potion's gone, then I can't do it. Okay, the potion effects are back. Let me try, I guess. The middle one we can't move. That's the one that opens up the library, I suppose. Oh boy. They don't even tell you, though, that this gate controls the other gates. Oh, here- oh, okay. Oh, all of them open. All of them open. Is that what I'm doing here? I only looked at the last one. But maybe... All of them are okay now. Oh... Yeah, this is where we started. Alright, so actually then... Oh, I might want to go back on the other side and check out all the doors. Dang. There's something here. Oh. Uh... I'll save you for when I get hungrier. Because I think you take away three, right? There's all these people here. No, there was a celerity spot there, I think. Maybe to do with that end? I can drink from these people, but I'll leave them alone. Eating rats is not pleasant, but if it helps save a vessel... Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the club music is my memories. It's not like the people here listening to club music. How come I still feel like there's more than one remaining? Wait, there's no light at the bottom of any of them. Oh, because I'm trying to listen to the music, maybe. Which one has the loudest music? Oh. Oh, but I thought we got that door a long time ago. Come on, don't just stand there. Come with me. Please, Jay, I'm really not in the mood for this. I know. But you're not gonna let her spoil our evening, are you? Come on, I'm not gonna dance all by myself. Ugh, you can be such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Jay. You really had a way with words, didn't you? What would I do without you? Relatively harmless memory. Doesn't actually seem like a memory of strong emotions. It seems like a pretty regular night out. But hey, I enjoyed myself. How long have I been here? Hours? Okay, that's still not the last one. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh, okay, okay. That one... Yeah, there was that one spot where there was a um, celerity point. Let me see if I can get to it. Mmm, yeah, I'm on the other side now. I can go here. But I've been there earlier. No! I haven't because this one's broken. A coin? What's that doing here? There's something weird about this coin. Like an aura. It must have been used for a ritual. Everything here is weird. Lock picking tool. That's gotta be a good thing. 
A complete lockpicking kit is always a good thing to have. Increases your security rating by one for the next interaction. Mmm, we don't always have to have the numbers for the scene if we can just get some consumables. It's not where my memory is, though. This room looks promising. Here we go. We're back on the left side with the doors that I didn't look at. It's a quiet one. Any light? The fact that we can't run here, it's so slow. Oh, this one didn't have any light. Radio Nationale France. Mesdames, Messieurs, le Président vous parle. Oh, this is before we move to Boston. Française, Français. C'est le cœur lourd que je vous annonce avoir demandé à nos adversaires de mettre fin aux hostilités. Non par faiblesse, mais parce que la situation militaire l'imposait. Dès le 13 juin, Cette demande d'armistice était inéluctable. Ce renoncement vous oh, surprend. Off, you were right. They caved in. What do we do now? They won't stop there. If Bordeaux falls, we'll be long gone by the time Bordeaux falls. I thought Boston had refused our petition for asylum. They have, but I've got friends in the London court who could help us. What friends? People close to the Prince. They're arranging passage for us. It should only be a matter of days now. We left for London three days later. The authorization came just after that. Oh, I hate to admit it, but I don't know what we would have done without the Brits. Long history. My head. Hey. Oh, I feel so much better. Like I'm whole again. I've got to get out of here now. All right. I think we can finally get out of here. Yeah, this place is actually much bigger than I imagined. All these prisoners, all the lost memories. I guess we can't really do anything about the people here, though. I thought in the notes they mentioned that a lot of vampires were trapped here, but all the people that we've been seeing probably... Well, they can't be vampires because we shouldn't be beating on them otherwise. They should just be regular people. Are these really the kind of people we want to ally ourselves with, though? They just seem very... unethical. But I'm not the prince, so I guess... I don't get to decide. I'm just a lackey. Check out that flash. I'm ready to get out of here. All this time, we still don't know what time of day, what date it is today. Here we go. That wasn't ceremonious. Uh, my head. What the shit? Clyde, get the neb. She got out. What? How on earth could no she? No time for that. Go get him. Out. I'm out. Oh, who cares about the neb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson. Are you talking about the party? It... it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? Confrontation. In a confrontation, you must fight to convince the other person. The result of a confrontation has an impact on how the story will play out. 
A confrontation has certain number of stages. The number depends on the goal of the confrontation. Each stage ends with a win or a miss. You can only miss a maximum amount of times, and if you exceed it, you lose a confrontation. Okay, yes, I love this about the council. Two misses allowed. I'm not here to... Uh, we thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? Whoa, calm down. If I came to destroy you, would I really come alone? I'm only one person. There's like 20 vampires here. I don't have anything in intimidation. Dang it. She didn't. This is so backwards. You're gonna pay for her treachery. You get that? None of you are going to get away with this. That's enough. But to Neb. I said enough. Osborne. Miss Lewis, I presume. Nice sunglasses. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. Freebie. My memories. Yes, that's right. I hope for your sake that you haven't forgotten any of them along the way. Otherwise, I fear that the memory fragments you have lost will be gone forever. Is this some kind of joke? I'm afraid not. But there's no reason to let it get you down. They might one day come back to you. The effects are not always permanent. You have nothing to worry about if you've been thorough. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word, but that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. They think we did something, we think they did something. I came alone. I didn't come with any weapons or like a big gang of people. Hazel spent months preparing for that party, okay? You can't just flush her work down the drain. <laughs> um, 41% success chance. We already missed once, so I kind of want to make sure we don't. Yeah, like, let's do 95. Honestly, if I wanted to finish the job, do you seriously think I would have come all by myself? Exactly. Hmm. Point well taken. Go on. I'm listening. You have to believe me. We're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. You need a reason for my presence. The prince is worried about you. That's why I've been sent. To make sure you're safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to... finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to... help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're I'd have right. to agree. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. 
What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? She's trying to test me. I'm not sure I understand. You know exactly what it was about. Why are you asking me? I want to know if I can trust you. Or if you're trying to pull one over on me with your eloquence. So please continue. Uh, he knows about my Toreador talents. I'm kind of worried about using this much willpower because we still have one more left. Can we use items in the middle of a confrontation? Just curious here. Yeah, okay, we can, we can. Alright, sweet. But I think that means for Gala, we probably used that one business card for no reason then. We didn't really need it for talking to Caius. Mm. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's scary. With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? That's actually not convincing at all. <laughs> confrontation, final stage. To win a confrontation, you must make it to the final stage and win. In case of a miss during the final stage, the stage is repeated until the confrontation is won or lost. Oh, you should have said so earlier. So this last stage matters more. I could have just let this one be a miss because I can have up to two misses. Dang it. Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. That many? Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? He knows exactly that we don't have the authority. He's trying to get an advantage here. Ooh. Dang it. But this is an optional dialogue anyway, so we have to pick one. Mm, of these ones, I think money is the one that's easiest to offer. But at the same time, it's probably least likely to work because... Well, just like how it's easy for us to offer, it's easy for them to turn it down because it's meaningless. You're not even a primogen yet. But this is a big decision. Uh, okay, you know what? If we want to be allies, then why don't you come move in in Boston? And we'll we'll be neighbors, and we'll keep a close look on at each other. How about that? What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That oh my god. That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm... All right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then. Oh no. It looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now. 
Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. Oh no. I'm very curious if the money or the seat would have worked though, but a seat on the Primogen? I feel like that would be worse than giving him land. Because then he'd permanently get to meddle in our affairs, right? Hazel is kind of a control freak. That's what she strikes me as, but ugh, either way, I don't think she's going to be happy. But hey, we got the alliance. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Is he's a Malk? Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Somebody who attacked us. If it's being done for business purposes, then maybe it's somebody, one of your rivals in the blood business. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking. But what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan, the result would be... Enormous. Precisely. Mm, as much as we don't like them, the Tremere are good at blood stuff. I bumped into a few people during my... detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. I wonder what we do about this problem in general. Do we just have vessels who are willing to give us their blood. Yeah, we can't really judge them too much because probably Dr. Uh, Richard? Richard probably does something similar with kidnapping people and experimenting on them. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. <laughs> I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. That is not comforting at all! Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course, but we have rituals to counteract its effects. Mind casting one of those? It's a good thing we probably- I think we did, right? We got all our memories back, but oh my god, if we didn't. We- we have an alliance right now, you've gotta look out for me. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could've just built a bunch of high-security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But, if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire 
to escape. <laughs> In theory. In theory. So all those people that we saw, they don't even know why they're there. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses, uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. Wow. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. Oh, I don't know what we've done here. Might not have been a good thing. <laughs> Diplomat, minus 20 to the next experience cost for the social attribute. Success. You met the Tremere from the Hartford Chantry. You recovered all your memories. You convinced the Tremere from the Hartford Chantry. Resonance bonus presence. You could have freed the prisoner in the tower. Oh. Yeah, there was a note about the Nosferatu prisoner, right? But we didn't come across any Nosferatus on the fourth floor? Mm, but it's an alternative, not a failure. Okay, well, hey, we got the Alliance. We got the Alliance. And I just realized on the bottom there, that's a timeline. Leg, as in Leisha, M.M., Galeb. And now we have another E on September 5th for M.M.